The elements of a computer are input, memory, control, arithmetic, and logic, and output. And I think we can see demonstrated from these charts that man has done a rather admirable job of imitating the human brain. And uh, even though it's an imitation, in many ways the machine we've developed can operate more efficiently than we can ourselves. And now in the past couple of weeks, I've been uh, working on a small experiment, uh, which is intended to show how we can be replaced by a computer. Hey. This may be a way of getting rid of Dean Higgins. We live in hope, Dexter. <laughs> and now, let's suppose that your parents are going away for the weekend, and uh, they leave you the following instructions. If it's raining tomorrow morning, when you wake up, you are to close the windows, open the door and let the cat in, phone the grocer and have him send over the following list of groceries. Right? Well, you wake up in the morning and it is raining, and being the conscientious and reliable young people I know you to be, you promptly forget to do it. <laughs> now, well, I, actually, I'm sure you would do it. But let's see if a computer could also do it. Now, uh, this is a rain gauge, and it's uh, sitting on the roof of the building. And when the water falls into this gauge, it sends a signal to the logic unit of the computer which immediately notifies the memory bank of the computer to seek out its instructions for a rainy day. The memory bank, in turn, activates the electronic circuits. The window closes, the door opens, hopefully the cat comes in, and the automatic telephone goes into action. Right? Well, let's see. Well, I, uh, it's enough of that. <laughs>